brush and hang it to allow the brush to drip dry. Do not put the brush out to dry in the sun. Place it in a cool, ventilated place to dry. So that is how to buy and use a brush. I hope these ideas can help you find a satisfactory calligraphy brush. Now, in the following segment, we can practice together. Practice with me. Today, I will introduce everyone to the Duo Bao Ta tablet. This is a famous stone carving of the Tang Dynasty master Yan Junqing. Let's look at the special characteristics of the stone tablet. We can see that his characters are quite upright and proper. Yan Junqing was an official injured by a treacherous member of the court. His characters reflect his personality and have been named Yan style calligraphy. Later generations said that looking at his writing is like looking at the man himself. His work inspires reverence and awe. So when we write in his style, we must pay attention to this generosity and strength. We can see it in every stroke of his characters. The start and finish are quite visible. So we have to pay attention while writing. Let's choose several characters to practice. Let's take this shi. That is the number 10. Pause. This is the hung stroke from last time. Pause and return. The start and pause are obvious. This is the hanging needle shoe stroke, hanging needle shoe. Another example, let's try li, meaning strength. This is a go stroke, then a pi stroke. Pause. Lift, press. And pause here. Lift the go stroke upwards. This pier stroke makes it complete. 